when you have a strong inner knowing, that's when it's second nature to you. That's why you say things like, I'm so intuitive, I don't even recognize it. I want to share my thoughts about what we term as knowing. It's like you just get sometimes even a voice that says, do that. And then you might kind of argue and you trust it. You're aware of the difference between, say, knowing that you might not trust because it can come from an opinion or something. Almost like this knowing that you trust comes from a different place. Being able to decipher whether you're communicating with animals or not comes from a recognition of what I call unpack this inner knowing that you have and the trust that you have. Often with knowingness, I see it as a package because the knowingness is like I handed you a package. And if you just, and for years you would have just been happy with the fact that you got the package and the package means, yeah, this is my intuition. I trust it. But actually there's so much to explore in this package. And once you explore it, that's going to be in a way give you the understanding of what animal communication is as in how can you start to receive information that's very specific to the questions that you want to ask what we're unpacking is actually how knowingness comes to you so with animals when we communicate with them some questions they can answer by connecting in with our knowingness i would say there's a lot of questions that we would ask them whereby it's too complex to give it to us as a package. So that's why those are the times when we go, I didn't get anything, or maybe I'm making it up now. So you then end up in this pool of, is it really happening? Can I do it? But that's because we rely very much on a knowingness. And as a human being, we want our animals to talk to us in a way that a human would. So it makes it really easy, like, did you enjoy your treatment? And we just want her to tell us, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, or have a whole kind of verbal declaration about, oh, yeah, I was, I was happy, but, you know, my legs are uncomfortable in that position, or that woman's a bit strange, or she smells funny. You know, it's almost like we want that. So knowingness can come through, like you say, thoughts, words, conversations, but it will actually be limited if you only rely on knowingness. But actually, knowingness is a package. So within the knowingness, there's visual, sound, smell, taste, emotion, sensation. And it's all of those that your brain very, very quickly translates and then gives it to you as a knowingness. It's like the end product, but our interpretation, our assessment has like fast tracked. When you first get used to animal communication, it is very much about slowing it down. 